Hey guys, Mech Mike here. I'm playing around with the Cyclops Gear 360 camera. Um, I've had it for a few months now, and I'm still a little bit, a uh, little bit uh, experimenting, I guess, with it, trying to figure out uh, how to make it work. It is a action cam that I can uh, mount onto uh, onto my ATV, onto the XXC, or onto the Jeep, and cruise along with it. Here, I'm just kind of walking around. I'm just shooting my gun here on the weekend. I just kind of had it out of its case, out of its waterproof case, and just kind of walking around, um, seeing the angles that it shot, and just kind of what it looks like. It sure gets a very clear view of the sky, and it looks really neat that way. Um, I don't know if a lot of you guys understand how VR video works, but if you're looking at this right now and it's not quite making sense to you, um, don't worry. About, uh, it, it happens a lot. Every time I upload a VR video, I'm not too sure if anybody really gets it. It takes me a long time to figure it out. But you can actually take your thumb, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can take your thumb to the screen and cycle it uh, around in 360. And you can view anything that I'm doing in 360 degrees. I'm not sure how the audio is working on this. I am shooting my gun, so I'm just going to see how the audio turns out. And I am narrating this uh, as I'm editing it with a power director, a 360 power director app. So there's a lot to it. It took me uh, well over a month just to get to this point where I can actually um, film something, try to edit it, try to see what I have. I, I get that this isn't the most exciting video that you're watching right now. It's just me with my gun. You can't see what's what I'm shooting or anything like that. But I'm just basically practicing with this camera because it takes a lot of work. And I know if I stick with it, I'm going to get it right and I, I'm going to be able to use this camera for something useful. It comes in a waterproof case, so I'm excited to get out with the boat this fall and uh, utilize it that way, maybe when we're fishing. Um, we were talking about ice fishing with it. If, do we put it in a waterproof case and stick it down the hole in the shack and try to uh, try to see if you can uh, get a good 360 degree view of the fish when they're biting on the hook? That might be something to try with it. Like I said, guys, I'm just I'm kind of brainstorming a lot of ideas to see how it works. This was just me playing around today on a nice open day. Um, just outside of PA, down by the uh, Sask River, where uh, where some area there that I can shoot the gun, and I'm, I'm just I'm just basically shooting my gun at the target and just uh, having a nice afternoon with the family. I've got the Jeep out here and, and doing my thing. So enjoy the video, guys. I'm going to leave it at this. Uh, cycle your thumb around, tilt your phone a little bit. There's a little bit of a gyro effect with uh, with your phone if you tilt it. So you can you can only you can move it with your thumb, you can move the screen with your thumb, but also just kind of tilting your your device in your hand will change the angle on this and I can take that gyro effect off but once I played with it it, it actually is quite handy. Um, we'll see how this audio sounds on it. Again I'm not really um, too sure if I got the mic settings right on the camera and same thing this is the first time that I've used the microphone on my computer on this 360 Power Director app. So again guys just a few more minutes of this and uh, thanks for watching any comments suggestions or if you got anything any experience with VR video uh, please shoot it up and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.